So the moment of truth. Let's see if all that work was uh, worth it. Nine, nine million. How much is in the other one? Okay, so we've just got just under 10 million. Okay, that is definitely worth it. Hello and welcome. So today I wanted to give you a guide about using our new mechanic, the Claw, as a solo reclaimer pilot. I wanted to try and put all the useful information in one place, so we're going to be going over things like loadouts, the missions, locations, places that you can fuel when you're out on your run, selling locations, and most importantly, how to squeeze in the most boxes into your hold. So this guide is focusing on just using the Claw, but I'm going to put my full loadout on just in case you're interested. I only think you need one tractor module, so I swap the rest out to give myself a variety of scrapers. Again, you don't need to change the shields or the coolers, but I like to try and put the best on everything. Just because we're a few patches in without a wipe now, you know, we've got those extra credits to throw around. Quantum drive though, that is the one thing you want to change. The stock drive is so slow on this. As you can see by the list I've included, the TS2 is the fastest drive, but it is not the most efficient. Lately in the game, I've seen a lot of Reclaimer pilots saying in chat that they've run out of fuel, and that's because they've gone with the fastest drive, the TS2. For me, I want to be staying out a while, and the most efficient is the Erebus or the Echo. The Echo has got a slightly slower spool up time, so I've gone with the Erebus. You're going to be able to stay out and fill your hold, and not worry about the fuel. That being said, you can fuel while you're out at the stations. So if you want to go with the TS2, just make sure you can get to one of these places. It's a little bit awkward when you land in nose on, so I like to land on sideways like I'm showing here. The station will recognize you and you can refuel, but honestly, you're going to be surprised at how fast that fuel tank runs out with the TS2, so you're going to be stopping a lot before you finish to running this. So the best contract for you to be picking up to do this salvage is in the personal tab. It's the hammerhead cleanup. You're going to be getting 250,000 for completing this contract and it's free to start. The other ones are under the general tab under salvage. The ships you're going to be looking at here are the hammerheads, the C2s, the A2s, any ship that's large enough to give you 240 SCU in one go. So these contracts don't give you a big payout at the end and they do cost 50k to start. Now you're going to be asking yourself, why would I choose these over the ones that are going to give me such a big reward? Well, the thing is, those hammerhead cleanups are all around the asteroids of Yella, and this spot is starting to get quite known for the reclaimers, and also to the pirates. You know, you might be able to go there plenty of times and not have any problems, but the last thing I want to do is just be sending you to one place, and you have all your cargo taken from you. So when it comes to using a claw, everything is done in the co-pilot seat. First of all, you need to fracture your ship, and you can be able to do that anywhere within 100 meters of your target. And then secondly, you're going to use a disintegration field to scoop up that scrap. But before you do that, you want to jump back in the pilot seat and reposition yourself. If you're not in the right position, you can get a minus 20% towards your SUU. So positioning yourself to the center of your target, and as close as possible, you can then get yourself a positive 20% towards your SUU. So if you've got a chunk which is around 200 and you get that 20%, that's going to bump that up to the 240, giving you the maximum amount you can take at any one time. You can save yourself some time and hassle by not doing this, but if you can get those numbers to turn from red to blue, then that means free money. And now the most important part of the whole procedure. It's going to be stacking these boxes, and you don't have to put the boxes anywhere else other than this room. So the first ship's worth of boxes you want to be putting up in that balcony, leaving you room to work below. With a little bit of practice that first ship shouldn't entirely fill that balcony. Meaning that your second ship is going to finish it off and then you're going to be stacking everything against the far wall. 
you want to fill in the chute that leads down to the cargo area below, for now ignoring the cargo grid. And then keep on stacking above that against the wall. Third and fourth ships, you're going to start making yourself a nice solid wall and stacking boxes on top of that. And then as you come forward, keep on building a nice solid wall and then going as high as you can, fitting any boxes you can behind it, leaving them nice and secure and packed in. Each new row is going to need a good solid foundation for that wall, so make sure you stack them nice and tight and level. So far I've been finding the sweet spot to be 7-8 to eight contracts. That's still going to leave you with a little bit of space in this room, but anything more than that I've been having problems with entities and losing some boxes. I believe you can start bringing smaller boxes into the habitation area, which is going to increase your load even more, but honestly, at this point you're a few hours in and you're going to have some really good profit. So when it comes to selling, you've got lots of options. You're not going to be selling at the TDD, you need to go to the admin offices. Every city has one and the majority of stations also do. So if you've chosen the option to fuel at stations as you go along, you can also sell a little bit of your load, meaning you can stay out longer as you'll have more space. Personally though, I don't like to stop and fuel. I like to get that processing room full and come back to one of the major cities. And my favourite so far is Area 18. Not only is it my favourite city in the game, but it's a little bit more straightforward to find the admin office. So to answer the question, is this easy money? Yes it is. But the thing is, this is not going to be for everybody. The cost of the reclaimer alone is going to put a lot of people off. It's definitely not for that beginner player. But if you're looking for a nice relaxing gameplay, which is going to give you some good profit, then honestly, look no further. You know, it's taken me a few hours with my feet up and I've just made 10 million. And if I was doing the Hammerhead cleanup missions, that'd be an extra 2.5 million on top of that. So for a solo relaxing gameplay, that is not bad at all. I've shown you in some previous videos how to get the most profit per hour, and quite honestly, this is close. But I don't think anything comes as close when you're talking about a slow paced, relaxing game loop. So thank you very much for watching, and as always, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that subbed to the channel, I really do appreciate your support. So take care, see you soon, have a very happy Christmas, bye bye.